Hey mate, so good to hear from you and stoked to hear that you've been hitting it quite well. I mean, hitting high baby fades is an absolute brilliant ball flight, so well done and very happy with the amount of width that I'm now seeing in the swing. It's a lot better than where we previously once were. So seeing that amount of width, that nice big rotation, and I definitely think that you're a lot better at getting into that lead side now. I guess for me, you know, and this is just fine tuning it, is, is that little movement post there, how we just get a little bit kind of flicky through that kind of impact zone, you know, coming in at this angle here, I'd love to see that lead hip, you know, disappear behind us a little bit more. So we open up the body and just allow our hands to move through rather than having to stall this hip here and then our hands to have to pass through. Um, that's just going to take time, right? And that's a really hard movement to perfect. But I'm going to give you some, some other drills as well to work on. Again, this is just to help train impact. They're not easy, um, but it's a way that, hey, like, you know, even if you did them for the session and you hit maybe every time, you know, 10, 15 shots, just really being deliberate on that movement, grabbing it with like an eight iron and just start to focus on, okay, how can we actually get you to maintain that angle through impact, right? Like if we look here at Rory as he comes down, I guess, you know, bring you back one frame, kind of in a somewhat of a similar position here, right? But as he comes down, he's really just able to let those hands continue moving forward as the club comes down where you really have to let the hands go and that's when the club head really immediately starts to, to overtake you know if we put his club head you know just past his feet relative to where yours are you can see how that hands and the club are working together where now your club head is overtaking the hands and you can really see it as we continue on into that position rather than it working more in that position so i think that stock drill is absolutely brilliant i'm going to give you a little abbreviation of that kind of stop drill as well um just to kind of keep working on it because like you said you're hitting it good and and the movements are coming about it's just really really being like this is the point where it's like hey like we're seeing glimpses of what that ball flight wants to be and we know we can do it we just need to fine tune it so much that when we're on the golf course it becomes so reliable right and it's just making sure that there's less flip through impact and just a slight little bit more rotation to actually just let the hands continue to work through